everybody to a new segment I thought of doing for this channel and it's called Movie Night. Now the object of this is I might watch a little bit of the older films and try to bring it back to my remembrance because I'm not only going to do that, I'll watch brand new movies as well and that way I can give my input at the end, no, not a review. I know a lot of people do movie reviews but I'm just going to give my inputs on what I thought about it and how I liked it or didn't like it for this or that but not really a review. Now you already know by the title, the reason why I thought of doing a video like this is because of this movie, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Now I don't remember anything from this movie, it's been so long. And to be honest, I can't really remember anything from Freddy's Dead. The only thing I can remember is one through five. I remember those quite well, but I don't remember Freddy's Dead but I do remember the fact that a lot of people trash that one, not liking it that much, but I heard so many people talking about this one recently, like, oh, they love this, and I'm thinking, I completely forgot how it starts, how it ends, I forgot everything about this movie. So join me on my movie night of Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Wow, I can't believe I forgot about that movie. I really like this movie. I really love how Wes Craven wrote this movie because it really had that same feeling of watching Scream. No, I'm not talking about two killers who you don't know who it is. Not talking about that, but the atmosphere of the movie kind of felt like I was watching a 90s horror flick like Scream. I really love that style and I really loved it throughout this whole movie just not knowing is it real? Is it all fake? Like, is she dreaming everything? Like, did she overdo the thinking of what happened to her husband? Which I'm not going to spoil anything because, as I said before, I'm not going to review it. I'm just going to talk about what I liked about the movie or, if I don't like the movie, what I don't like about it. But I do know all I could say is that if you have a movie night and you have this in your collection, you don't remember it as well, it's been a while that you watched it, definitely watch this movie. I really thought it was so cool how I went back and watched this. And, it really felt like I was watching a whole new movie because I'm like, how can I really not remember a Freddy Krueger movie? And after I was done watching this, I really was feeling sad a little bit because of Wes Craven passing not too long ago. Now, I know he did not write Scream, but the way he directed it, just like this movie, made me miss him even more because of him directing Scream the way he did. Oh man, that changed my life when I watched it forever ago and I still have a screen box set one through four still unopened over there. But the directing style that he had on movies like that, this one, the Freddy Krueger, like the way he directed was just really spot on the way that I love the way he directed. And that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this new segment that I'm doing because it's my first time doing this one, but maybe I'll adjust a little bit more and figure out more things to do for a video when I do movie nights, but you know, I'm just going one step at a time with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. What are you watching for your movie night? Is it today? Is it tomorrow? What do you have planned for your movie night? Let me know in the comments below what movie that you're going to be watching in the future for your movie night. If you want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe while you're here. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a great and awesome day.